I normally don't react to this kind of thing. But I saw somebody react to this and it seemed kind of funny, you know what I'm saying, bro? So I'm going to be like kind of, like I try not to laugh, kind of deal with it, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty, lady. My headphones are not connected. Give me a second. Boom. And gentlemen, there we go. It is time for another trial of the round table. And a new challenger is approaching. Or if I want to be specific, challengers are approaching. But these challengers are all known under one name. And who is this man exactly? Well, uh, let's just say this man has been beefing with Turtle since 1987. I brought back some takeout. So, like, let's get down and pig out. It's Shredder. Where? Ladies and gentlemen, the shredder. So everybody sit back and relax because the amount of evidence and exhibits I have on this man is about to make this the most massive and ambitious roundtable trial to date. So without further ado, it is time to commence the shredder trials. I don't like the way you said that. Exhibit A. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, the Utram Shredder. New York City, a city where you can find damn near everything from your bacon, egg and cheeses, a random nigga getting sturdy on every single block, fat ass mutated rats, and of course, ninjas. I beg your pardon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the TMNT version of NYC, where the streets are ran by ninjas. And to be specific, the Foot Clan ran by none other than Oroku Saki or also known as the Shredder. Now, this man Shredder basically ruled the streets of New York with a iron fist. He had every single rival gang and every single mob boss bend the knee. I mean, look at his first example. We got a run of the mill drug deal going on right now between the foot and some random ass mob. So bro right here come up and say, you got the stuff. Do you have the payment? Oh, we got the money, all right? So bro throws the briefcase to him and Big Dog got the case and started counting the money on the spot. And when he finished, he was like, do you play us for a fool? This is only half of what we agreed upon. <laughs> yeah, cause you're gonna get the other half after we take it off of your dead corpse, bud. You have signed your death warrant. No, 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 no. And look at the mob. These boys are terrified. So they start shooting and they just really like the shit off them. They stood absolutely no the chance. And these were the the level one foot grunts, by the way. The foot grunts that Shredder treats like like absolute garbage. I mean, look at these workplace conditions, my nigga. This man treats these foot grunts as his personal punching bags. First off, before they even start this beating session, they gotta glaze the nigga. They all got on one knee and started saying in unison, Master Shredder, our glorious king, we are honored to get our ass beat by you. So the reverse jumping session started. Foot nigga number one decides to pull a sword out, but look at this, weave roundhouse to the dome. And he just whooping they ass without even trying. Look at this. He Bicycle kick a whole grown man into another man. And look how he landed. A whole hoga ass in his face. And they just got absolutely caught. And I honestly gotta feel bad for these level one foot ninjas because they probably go through this every day. He probably just beat their ass for entertainment. This is just straight torture, bro. And my God, if you ever failed this man. <laughs> well, let's ask this guy right here. So this random guy right here failed to steal this armored truck for Shredder because the turtle stopped him. So bro is pleading for his life right now. He is saying, but please, Mr. Saki, you must understand. I was attacked by some buff ass turtle. But Shorter looked at bro and said, Shut your trap. You are fucking failure. No, please. So he leaps at this man, and you just see the door shut. And all you hear is this man screaming and getting his ass beat. And you never see or hear from this man ever again. So guess what? Ding, ding, ding. You guessed it. Murder on aisle four. This is dead. But there was one man who suffered the absolute worst of Shredder's wrath because of his constant failures. And that is none other than Baxter Stockman. Holy f what he did to this nigga Stockman. It is inhumane. First of all, you're probably wondering how Stockman even got in this situation. Well, he was a scientist working for Shredder. And one day, the turtles in April O'Neil blew up his lab. So while this man was trying to run away, he ended up running into Hunt, Shredder's 
big ass enforcer. So Hunt told Stockman, seems like you're in trouble, Mr. Stockman. And Stockman knew he was cut, trying to yap and lie his ass off. But Hunt grabbed this nigga by the collar and walked him all the way back to Shredder. So they get back to base and this motherfucker Stockman was like, well, you see Master Shredder, this is just a minor setback. Cause with your funding, of course, <laughs> I'll be back at work tomorrow. But this nigga Shredder grabbed his claw, got up and told him, nigga, do you think you're off the hook? You must pay for your failure, Stockman. So Hun drug him off to God knows where. And the next time you see Stockman, he has a scar and a eye patch over his eye. He gouged out his eye. He straight up mutilated this man. And look how he treats this man on a daily basis. Stockman like, oh, Master Short with my I believe genius brains, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. Shut your black ass up, Stockman. And guess what happened after this? He failed him again. So they took him back to the torture chamber and Hun mutilated him again. And the next time you see Stockman, bro cut off his arm and paralyzed him. He turned this nigga into Charles Xavier. So I'm pretty sure y'all get how this works Levels. now. Every time this man fails, Shredder people. takes one of his body parts. <laughs> and this isn't even the last time, but we'll save that for later. And trust me, it gets worse. So his first confrontation with the turtles was a absolute beatdown. And before this even happened, Shredder tried to works. sweet talk this nigga Leonardo. He went up and told bro, uh, hello, nigga turtle son. We don't have to be enemies, my boy. So take this sword as my gift. So this man Leo went back to Master Splinter. And when he told him this, Master Splinter was like, oh, hell no, my son. Don't you dare trust that motherfucker. And this man Splinter was right because PTSD came and hit him like a train. Because years ago, when Splinter was the pet rat of Hamato Yoshi, the Foot Clan busted up in their house and jumped well, this man. So then Shredder man? came in and they started to torture him while Splinter was watching. Then after he was done, he killed the nigga right in front of his face. Bro's been so now they knew who they shit. was dealing with. So later on that night, while they're on a rooftop, they end up getting ambushed by the foot. And here comes this motherfucker Shredder. And this man came in pissed off. He was like, I gave you that expensive sword and you still decide to fight against me. Did you know how much that cost me? Like what, uh, $50, bro? Try 50,000, nigga. Oh. So Shredder sends his foot ninjas to Shredder's attack him. And while this man Mikey is just twirling around his nunchucks, Shredder comes from the top <laughs> rope and drop kicks him across the building. Then he looks over at Leonardo. Bro said, come get some of this shit too. Then over here, look at Donatello just spinning his staff like an idiot. Nigga think he Wukong. Shredder comes behind him and just throws him. And look at Donnie's stupid ass. You know he can't break Wukong. throws. Then this man threw a sword to light the entire building on fire and just start staring down Leo and Raph. So they all jump up and Shredder just knocks him out both in the air. This nigga is cooking them. And then look at this. Raphael gets up just to get kicked off of the building into a dumpster. Then he killed Leonardo off a building. The dog landed on a taxi. And then boys had to retreat because Shredder then destroyed the whole damn building. And look at this motherfucker walk out the fire and saying, oh, turtles come out to play. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be shitting bricks if I was in their shoes. So then he called over his foot ninja. He said, foot ninjas, glaze me. Yes, Master Shredder. If you want a pay raise, find those turtles. So Shredder had a bunch of foot ninjas just on a wild goose chase, hunting these boys throughout the oh, entire shit. night until the turtles just decided, F it. we can't outrun the nigga, so we might as well just fight him. So later on, they decide to have a standoff on the top of this roof. So here come this man Shredder, and he immediately said, foot ninjas, jump the turtles. So they got a whole brawl going on right now. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this version of Shredder does not believe in fair ones at all. Every chance he gets, he's gonna jump you. Look at this nigga Mikey just fighting for his life right now. Bro was on a f***ed up ankle just for Shredder to come out of nowhere and send him flying. I mean, look at this nigga. Donatello is clearly getting jumped just for Shredder to walk up to bro and tell him, Hey there, little green nigga. Catch this four piece combo, nigga. Sent this nigga Donatello flying while he was off guard. This nigga don't believe in fair ones. Look at Leonardo. This man is backpedaling just for Shredder to come behind him and try to sneak him. Bro got lucky. Raphael bailed him out, but they just ended up trading places. The Shredder picked this man Raphael up and threw him across the building. And look 
pocket, poor Mikey. Y'all already know what's about to happen. Schroeder sneaks this nigga again. Send him flying to the wall. And of course, this man Leo's the last man standing. Just for him to run right into Shredder. And bro just looked at him and said, Night, night, nigga turtle. <laughs> So this man Shredder had him beat. The turtles are already down 2-0 against this nigga. So right when he's about to deliver the killing blow, which is clear attempted murder, by the way, Master Splinter comes down and bails out his sons. And this man Shredder was pissed. He told Master Splinter, looks like New York's ever growing rat pandemic has still been unsolved. But Master Splinter was not about to take that disrespect. He led Shredder over to this water tower and gave him the bait of the century. He just started making bro miss. So he would destroy the supports of the water tower. So when the tower started shaking, and Master Splinter told him, I feel like he's seen this episode. So bro kicked the water tower on him. So Don got washed off the building and the water tower fell on him. So Master Splinter then bailed these boys out because they think Shredder is dead. And I mean, shit, anybody would. Nobody is surviving that shit. But we would soon understand that this man is fucking un. Killable. And I mean this literally. Bro dodges death like ice spice shaking ass. It just comes natural to him. So about a good week later, Leonardo decided to go on a morning training run. And everything one. just seemed all fine. Master Splinter was like, oh, take care of yourself, my son. And make sure to get that 40-yard dash faster. You looked slow the other day. So Leo goes out on his morning training run. So about one hour later, it started to get a little worried. Donatello's smart ass was thinking in his head, Man, what the Sigma? It's eight o'clock sharp and Leo left at 7 a.m. Usually it takes him about 30 minutes to run. Hey guys, the fuck's going on? I don't know, bruh, but something is totally off. And their suspicions were right because literally five seconds later, Leonardo comes flying through the window and this nigga is beat the f up. And Leonardo's last words before he lost conscious was, oh, he, he's back. Yes, this man Shredder came back with a vengeance because while Leonardo was on his training run, Shredder sent his elite guard to jump this nigga. And when they was done, they took Leonardo's swords, gave it to Shredder, and bro bended his swords and snapped him in half like a stick. And not even a minute later, Foot Ninja started busting into April O'Neil's apartment. They said, we committing home invasion today. So the turtles had to retreat to get to the store downstairs before they got overran. So later on when they got to the store, Shredder comes and kicks down the door. And bro walked in saying, one, two, three, four. How many nigga turtles are in my store? I know you're stealing. Well, um, actually, you're the one busting into April's store right now. So, uh, technically, you're the one stealing, bro. You know what, Mikey? You actually got a point right now. Silence, you little green shits. Quit all that yapping and come get these hands. So they dive in on him and Raphael comes in first. But look at this. Bro hits the Cover. duck of the century and punishes the hell out of him. Mikey comes in and gets cooked as usual. And here comes Donatello, but he whiffs. And look at the sidestep. Bitch, get this man into a stripper pole. But nah, I ain't gonna lie. We gotta ask this question. Hey, but why the hell you got a stripper pole in your store? You damn freak. Shorty probably got a secret OF. So here comes Master Splinter and obviously Shredder wants his run back. So they start fighting again. I ain't gonna lie. Shredder started getting cooked by this rat again. Because Master Splinter just had too much sauce. Too much sauce. So bro ended up kicking a bookcase off him, and they decided to retreat in this cellar. So while the foot was trying to open up the door, the massive? cops ended up pulling up. So Shredder told his foot to That's disappear. Move, but before he left, he decided to do some crazy shit. Bro walked up to the cooler and locked them in. Then he pulled out a grenade Molotov, set the place on fire, and started leaking gas. And bro started to walk away and said, This is what y'all get for camping like some pussies. Say your prayers, nigga turtles. So the gas started to leak, menace, and bro, bro blew up the whole hey, block. He's an asshole. This is just ridiculous, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, this man had to have caught some bodies here. I mean, you literally see these policemen get blown away. 99.9% .9 of the time, a regular nigga is not surviving that. So let's be real, they're dead. Now the turtles did get out of there because of a vent, but look at April, she is devastated. She done lost her whole business and her whole apartment. And the whole crew basically had to leave New York. So Shredder effectively ran these niggas out of New York and put Leo in a coma. Bro was out for like a week. So the turtles were covered as time passed and they decided to assault this man's lair. So while they broke into Shredder's lair, they ended up finding some pretty dark things that Shredder has done. And that would be human experience. 
experimentation because they found this lab and it consisted of a bunch of mutated shredders and also they was kidnapping motherfuckers they found this video of these foot mad scientists that was experimenting on people that they kidnapped and was mutating them into monsters so yeah this man is a sick nigga bro but anyways they get to the top floor to confront shredder but before they get the chance to fight this motherfucker baxter stockman pulls up in a whole mech so shredder was like stockman what the fuck are you doing well master shredder this is my emancipation proclamation because i'm done being your motherfucking slave nigga so this man grabbed shredder started throwing him around and dog walking him stockman was finally getting his get back from all the mutilation and the torture he's received but his reparations Bro, would not last long you hear music in the background oh nah shredder jumped up not the and blood just in the water to the shadow room blood in the water so after that altercation blood shredder was like the now then let's like get down to business Shredder starts whooping their you know ass. So here comes Master Splinter trying to bail out his sons again, but this time it wasn't gonna work. Shredder jumps off and roundhouses like this nigga through the glass and you, off of the damn see. building. Shit, bro got lucky this was Leonardo saving his life and not Spider-Man. Cause we all know what happened last time Pete was in this situation. Yeah. Blew that back out. But while Leo was saving Master Splinter, everybody else was just getting their ass kicked. It looked like Shredder at this point was just having fun. Then later on into the fight, bro, he ended up pulling out this video. sword called the Sword of Tengu, which is a mystical sword that he had made a long time ago. We will learn about this soon. But he ends up blasting the turtles and knocking them all out. So they was fighting for dear life at this point because Shredder's using this busted ass sword. But they ended up knocking it out of his hand so Leo could grab it. And Leonardo and Shredder stood off for one final strike. And well, the plot kicked in hard and Leonardo ended up decapitating the Shredder. So now the battle is over and the turtles have crazy. defeated the Shredder, or he, so they thought. Because this man got up, grabbed his head, and walked off into the fire. Bruh. And how the hell did he do this? Well, this is where shit Bruh. gets crazy. The, the Shredder, Shredder Trials. trials. Uh, Exhibit A wrap up. Multiple counts of murder, mutilation, torture, kidnapping, home invasion, trafficking, racketeering, property damage, multiple counts of attempted murder, assault on multiple counts. Yeah, he's gonna wait for a very long time. Exhibit B. There's more? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, Shirell. Now, <laughs> let's get the elephant out the room. This nigga is not a Rokusaki. This motherfucker is an alien. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, like meet Shirelle, the universal genocidal maniac. This is the worst criminal in the universe. And he is also the Utron Shred. Now, it's time to go back to the 11th century. Now, this alien race called the Utroms are a very peaceful race, but there was one outlier, and that was Shirell. Now, currently, they have him in custody, and they're taking him back to the planet to be tried for his crimes against the universe. But Shirell was not going to let crimes that happen. So later on, Shirell ended up escaping. And Do you have to be up to to have crimes against the universe, my nigga? Yo, against the universe? Bro, what? What are you doing? Bro's out here stealing planets. Overrided the ship's engines, making the ship crash on the nearest planet. And that planet was Earth. Now, the Utrons were very technologically advanced, but since Earth was basically so far behind back then, they couldn't repair their ship, so they were stranded. So they decided we might as well just blend in and live with these people. So with the technology they had, they made exosuits so they could blend in with humans. So one day, when this Utron was taking an exosuit on a test drive, he ends up falling into a trap and he gets six flying by a log. And this trap was set up by none other than Shirelle. And Makes he looked sense. at the poor little nigga in there and said, <laughs> What a wonderful toy. Move, little nigga. So he carjacks this little nigga. Then he decides to just pick him up and just throw him. Who knows where that little nigga just landed? But after this, is where everything makes sense. We see these Utroms working and they end up getting attacked by foot ninjas. And they are being led 
by none other than the Shredder, aka Shirelle. This version of Shredder that we have been talking How about is a 1,000 year old alien that established the Foot Clan back all the way in the feudal era of Japan. And look at this man. He is beating the dog shit out of these Ultrams. And look at Buddy right here. He just like, oh, what, what is the meaning of this? What, what have we done to you? What have you done to me? Oh, simply breathing the same air as me. Look at him. He is yeah, boxing this nigga up. This motherfucker been jumping nigga since the 11th century. Now, y'all remember that sword? The sword of Tengu? This is when it was made. So he had blacksmiths build him a sword that was salvaged from the Utram technology. So the blacksmith presented him with the sword and the blacksmith told him, oh yes. Now, are you ready to discuss payment, Lord Shredder? Payment? payment. <laughs> you know oh, I, I will gladly give you payment. So he aimed the sword at them and boom! <laughs> Bro, imagine, imagine just doing your job and dying for it, bro. Like, like these guys did nothing wrong other than like expect to get paid, bro. You know what I'm saying? For the hard labor. That's like that's it. And they lost a life for that. GG's, bro. That's tough. Like nigga. That's tough. Why? They gladly built that sword for you, and you just bloomed the bits. For real though. <laughs> okay, nigga. Triple homicide on all three. So after this, throughout the century, Shredder just expanded the foot to what we know it is as today and has been beefing and has been trying to kill all the Utroms ever since and anybody allied with them. Cause y'all remember Master Yoshi, Splinter's master? Yeah, he has been allied with the Utroms and has been beefing with Shredder for years. He even corrupted his best friend to defect and fight to the death while he watched. Like this man is 100% pure evil, not a single redeeming quality. So now let's go back to the present. Now, after this man dodged death again, I mean, this man had a fight with the Utrons and the Turtles and survived a building that imploded on him. Still to this day, I don't know how bro survived this. He decided to take out his anger on none other than Baxter Stockman. Now, as we saw earlier, Wait, Stockman. If he's an alien, how does he have the 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 fake the tech? Okay, the tech not the technological advancements. Oh, two. What what do you what do you say in um, Black Panther? Tried to kill Shredder, but failed. Miserably. So Shredder decided it was time for some more punishment, and I mean severe punishment, because the next time you see Baxter Stockman. This man has been reduced to a brain and an eyeball in a tube. <laughs> Bro, imagine that's your existence. Dead. This, in honest to God, is a Bro, fate worse than please. death. This man has lost his body, and the only thing he has left is his nervous system in a jar. And what was the most fucked up thing? Shredder looked at him and told him. Mm. Baxter Stockman, it seems that you have overdosed on Ozempic. And then look at this. They start shocking this man. In They're the still torturing This is actually Yo. horrible. The fact that this Yo. show was shown on four kids is insane because we slowly watch this dude get mutilated and reduced all the way to a brain in a jar crazy work bro so fast forward a couple days later and the turtles confront shredder on this ship so obviously shredder starts talking shit immediately ah uh, nigga turtles fancy that you are here because now you can be test subjects to my new foot box roger, roger. so this robot walks up and blows this Raphael <laughs> So a whole brawl ends up breaking out. And of course, Shredder and Splinter face off again. And poor old Master Splinter got his ass whooped. Like Shredder was teeing off on this nigga. Like you Man, can see the pain in Master times, Splinter bro. shaking his head like, oh, oh lordy, lordy, lord, I'm getting too old for this shit. So a big ass explosion goes off and Splinter oh. ends up getting knocked down and Unk is not getting up. Somebody need to call life alert for this old nigga now. Cause Shredder's about to kill this man. But this Triceraton ran Shredder away. So he ends up boxing with Dino nigga and this big ass motherfucker picked him up and threw him across the ship and hammer fisted him into this fire pit. So big dog thought he won. He was like, victory for the Republic. But the turtles was like, yo, turn around, bro. Cause this motherfucker Shredder got up and stabbed him in the booty.
I mean, it looks like he stabbed him in the ass. So while Shredder's walking over to kill the turtles, Dino nigga gets up, bear hug Shredder, takes him over to the fire pit, and falls in it with him. So you gotta think, no way Shredder survives this. The ship literally blows up, and bro got dragged down to the bottom of the ocean by Dino nigga. Well, uh, he lives to see another day. I will say this once bro, and I will say mortal, it bro. again. This man is unkillable. Oh, and by the way, Dino nigga's foot. dead. That man did not come out that water. So his sacrifice is in vain. So we got another murder on our one. So after this, Shredder decided to do another nefarious act. So the city of Beijing became a floating city after the Triceratons tried to invade Earth. So Shredder Ooh, wanted the thing that was making the city float. So you know what bro decided to do? Steal the thing and try to drop the city on the Earth. Like dog, this nigga is an actual maniac. And guess what? When Hun and Baxter Stockman failed to get the job done, he made these boys slaves. I'm not kidding. He got these niggas working in a steel mill in chains. Oh Lord, have mercy. This nigga Baxter Stockman needs reparations immediately. Cause this brother done lost his body and now he a damn slave. And look at Shredder come in. Stockman was like, oh, oh Lord, Master Shredder, I, I, I'm working diligently. Nigga, I don't did know I say that you could speak? Alive, bro. Lord bless pain, his brother. Bro. So more time would pass, and Shredder would start gaining more influence in the city. I mean, he had the mayor on his payroll, and he started to build a ship because he wanted to go to the home planet of the Utroms and conquer their planet. But the Turtles was not having that shit because if they don't stop him now, he's gonna take over the galaxy. So they pull up on Shredder, and they don't sugarcoat it. They start jumping the hell out of this man. Like, this shit was crazy. They had bro stumbling and shit. Bro fell to the ground, and he was like, it all my centuries i've never had my ass beat like this so y'all know shredder was not about to go out like no bitch bro pops up and starts beating the hell out of everybody planted these niggas on a wall and splinter came from the top rope but bro caught the sword and kicked him across the room so shredder ends up fleeing all the way to his ship and he takes off into space so it was time for the final confrontation so shredder pulls up in his final boss armor that's got four arms on some general grievous shit so shredder with the help of his delusional daughter karai start whipping their ass like he's just throwing these ass. Ass. So and then look at this they tried to run up and electrocute bro but bro grabs the wires from him and he electrocutes master splitter unk was done for it then bro stepped behind leonardo booted him all the way to karai and she stabs him <laughs> Leonardo was cooked. Then it was Raphael's turn. Bro grabs him and hits him with the GTS. This nigga think he's CM Punk. And here come Mikey getting his legs oh, taken out and stomped Bro, on. And of course, here comes it? Donatello coming to get washed like usual. Bro, imagine fighting one guy your whole life, and every time you fight the same guy, he beats you up, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? I think eventually I'll be like, mm, I don't want to fight the guy, you know? But hey, when you're a superhero, you got to do what superheroes do. You know what I'm saying? That's get your ass beat. This brother smart as hell, guy. but goddamn, he the one that get his ass beat the most. And Shredder has defeated the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He won the final battle. So while he was about to kill Leonardo, Karai comes in and stops him. And this man was pissed. He was like, daughter, what the fuck are you doing? Father, Betrayal? this is dishonorable. Betrayal? Have you no honor, my nigga? Honor. Bitch, fuck all that shit. Bro just a bitch slapped his own daughter and is about to kill her. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga's terrible. But right before this was about to happen, the Utroms pulled up stopped time and warped everybody off the ship because they was coming back to earth to arrest this nigga so we end up going to the utram home world and they are about to put this man on trial for all the atrocities he has committed and my god when you hear some of this shit it is absurd so the first thing that they bring up that on this one planet their ruler dolph ed testified that he willingly launched an attack on this planet called nf gold and over one million innocent people were killed oh but we're not done next up this alien Juan Ron Otho proved that he incited a civil war on this planet called Eno 2 in an effort to mine their raw minerals without restriction now guess how many people died during this a whopping 3.2 million 
This cuz body count is in the millions. And I saw one comment before I made this video. Some said, he's making a video on Shredder. What does bro do? Doesn't he just fight turtles? Get the fuck out of here, bro. And then they got him on conspiracy to overthrow the government. So all the Utrams in the Galactic Council came together and said, Sherelle, we the Galactic Council find you guilty and you will be banished to eternal exile. Nani? So they exiled this man to a freezing planet. And that was the end of the Utram Shredder. Until he decided to try to destroy the multiverse, of course. The, the Shredder, Shredder Trials. Trials. Exhibit B wrap up. Multiple assaults, bribery, conspiracy, mutilation, attempted mass murder, multiple counts of murder, slavery, multiple counts of genocide. Exhibit C. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our final exhibit. And that, of course, is multiversal destruction. So after Shredder got exiled on the frozen planet, he ended up getting saved by none other than the 1987 Shredder. Now, the reason why he did this is because, well, the 87 Shredder is kind of a goofball. Is this nigga serious? And he was tired of getting his ass beat every episode. So he wanted to see what he could learn from his other counterparts. Mm. So of course, that he chose the evilest one out of all of them, the Utram Shredder. Now, Utram Shredder obviously betrayed 87 Shredder because this nigga's an idiot. And he decided, I'm gonna destroy every single Ninja Turtle that ever existed. So he took over 87 Shredder's Technodrome and started to wreak havoc across the city. Shit, the whole military pulled up. They called the Army, Air Force, Marines, and they couldn't do nothing. They ended up becoming cannon fodder. This nigga was killing multiple people. And this maniac is just laughing while he's committing mass murder and destroying the city. <laughs> this mother is crazy. It got to the point 87 Shredder and Krang started to question this. They walked up to him and said, ah, what the devil are you doing? Let's just destroy the turtles and be done with it. Yeah, destroy them already, man. Boos, you bum ass niggas dare question me? Shut the fuck up. Dog, he's gotten to the point where he's abusing his own counterpart. Nasty work. So later on, this man ended up capturing the 2003 turtles and the 1987 ones so he could use their DNA to find the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So he found Turtle Prime, which was the world of the first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 1984. And he starts to destroy their world. This nigga's destroying the first comic. He's a fucking maniac. So it was time for the final, final battle. So to save the multiverse, the 2003, 87, and 84 Turtles, along with 87 Shredder, Krang, Karai, and Master Splinter, was about- Bro, you know you're a dickhead when you're when like your your own devil ganger don't even agree with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? He, he fighting against you, bro. About to jump this man because if he destroys this universe, everybody gets erased from existence. So this motherfucker turned into a giant and he said, Oh, this is my lucky day. I count 12 turtles, a rat, my bitch main counterpart, a pink blob, and my thought daughter. Oh, you can suck my giant show. So this man just nah, starts to destroy bro. everything. This stupid ass Ooh, nigga Crane turned giant bro. just to get his ass whooped. And this man turned his hand into a Gatlin gun and started spraying and praying. And this just ended up becoming a whole episode of AOT. Cause this man done became a damn Titan and he trying to stomp on niggas now. So then he snatched the 84 turtles and started squeezing them to death. And this took everybody up because since they're dying, everybody's dying, even Shredder himself. So Karai pled to him. She tried to talk no juice to him. She said, father, please. Are you willing to destroy yourself? for some damn titles. And he stopped for a second, but then he thought to himself and decided, you little green shits are the bane of my existence. So if I die too, so be it. Yeah, so this man is about to destroy everything, even himself. This nigga 
nigga is crazy. Bro is willing to destroy himself just so they don't exist. This might be the craziest hate boner of all time. Dio, you got competition, buddy. So right before the multiverse is about to be erased, this man ends up getting hit by ninja stars. In 87, Donatello actually came in clutch. It's a miracle. And Shredder ended up getting hit by his own Technodrome laser, evaporating him and finally putting an end to the Utrom Shredder. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, with all of these charges, there should be no debate he passed his trial. We are round tabling this nigga now. This little bastard is the definition of a menace to society. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, one trial down and two more to go. So now I know the question's coming. CJ, when's the second trial dropping? Well, I got good news for you. I'm already damn near done. Yo, yo, this, this dude, is just a menace, bro. He was born with hate in his heart. You know how uh, um the Grinch was born with a smaller heart? This dude was born with no heart. It just didn't exist. But somehow he managed to, to store hate in it. You know? Uh W W little bit, I ain't gonna lie. Uh uh, let me know if you should. Uh next time I might put like a like a laugh a laugh counter up, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't know how many times I, how many times I laughed in that video, but like uh I got a few chuckles in, ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna lie. Um, like, subscribe, see you in the next video.